you'd like to see more of our videos, hit the subscribe button to stay on top of the market news. Good morning traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today's August 21st, 2020. And today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, Apple stock and the NASDAQ gain to all new record highs once again. But first, let's take a look at the economic events of the day. So as mentioned earlier in this week, we do have a bunch of numbers coming out of Europe this morning, starting out with a French flash services PMI number coming out at 915 South African time. And then at 930 South African time from Germany, we have a flash manufacturing and our services PMI numbers coming out. So two very important numbers for countries that represent a tremendous part of the EU coming out earlier this morning. Now looking at the markets, we're watching the euro bounce at support while the British balance showing strength and not really re retracing after that dollar got a little bit stronger yesterday. Uh, looking at the indices, the NASDAQ makes new record highs as mentioned and the Dow Jones gains but doesn't gain as much which is quite natural because the Dow Jones has been slugging behind. Now looking at the commodities, gold and oil pretty much unchanged. Gold looks like it's setting up a head and shoulders. We're going to take a look at that as well. And lastly, looking at the stocks, the rotation continues. And this time it's Apple that is surging higher to new record highs. Unbelievable. In the middle of a pandemic, we're still doing this. Okay, but let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we did take a look at a daily chart of the euro usd you can see it retraced down to that support level 118.11 and bouncing off of it now with these two numbers coming out early this morning at 9 15 we need to still have a few minutes uh and, and another 45 minutes until the number comes out um this could go either way okay um it could challenge this 1811 once again or not okay it could take it even higher to seeing that the manufacturing numbers are coming back and the services numbers are kind of re surfacing themselves into a stronger market environment now looking at the gbp usd at a four hour chart you can see that we didn't really retrace here okay if we look at a one hour chart you could see that we had the sell-off earlier this week and then this massive <clears throat> correction yesterday and then above to this 1323 ish level so we're still pretty strong here and we're sustaining it okay could be it's going to be a double top perhaps but for right now it's still sustaining itself it's still kind of strong now looking at gold this is what i'm talking about the upside down head and shoulders okay or actually the head and shoulders this would be the head this would be a shoulder and this would be the subsequent shoulder okay but this is a bearish kind of move so this may find itself you know trading lower challenging this 1918 ish level so something to consider if this does happen later today okay obviously if it breaks the uh, 14 day moving average which is the blue line this may actually not occur so consider that later today if this does develop into a head and shoulders let's see if it does now jumping into the nasdaq it's trading 11,496 and just about you know a couple of months ago we were trading in the 9,900 ish level so a tremendous rally for the Nasdaq okay tremendous rally uh, pushing it higher and really being pushed by Apple okay this is Apple computers 471 and continuing to break higher okay if we look at a weekly chart that's amazing okay really really amazing what has happened to the price of Apple stock okay even from the time that we sold off in March until now we've more than doubled in price of the stock okay so that's unprecedented really unbelievable um, and that's really reflecting in the Nasdaq also going higher now looking at the Dow Jones it's not okay this is a different picture you can see it right ahead 27,696 so this may be a resistance ish level if we do decide to sell off here it could actually still for it if that does happen later today so consider that you know a possible move later today if this does sell off now looking at Facebook also pretty strong here 267 <clears throat> Microsoft also pretty strong at 213 and you know the the stocks are still very very strong especially the high-tech stocks that are carrying the markets higher uh, but you know at a certain point they're gonna make a correction okay I'm not going to foretell where that correction is gonna be until we get the confirmation but and just realize that you know this is pushing higher but may not be pushing higher for much longer as we go into September this is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great training day. Thank you.